everybody. Um, this might be the last Matchbox content for a little while, just because I'm my Matchbox stash is a little dry right now. Uh, with all the 2023s coming out, I've struggled to find some of them, so I've had help from Diecast Car Guru, and soon I'll be getting a good package from him that I will open up on here. And it, well, we'll just call it the floodgate, because once I get that package, I will be able to produce so many <laughs> um, new 2023 videos. Let's just say that. Because I have, I have the foundation done, but there's like a couple models here, a couple models there that I'm missing. And uh, he's helped me out with that. So, but we have, we just have some random matchbox here from the sets this year. Which were kind of lackluster, you know, um, we have, I think that was an old release. Oh yeah, uh, um, no, the Kuda might have been new actually. The Mitsubishi, the International, and the Dodge were old releases. These three were new. I still need the Honda. If anybody's got the Honda, let me know because uh, I still need that one. Uh, the Kuda, nah, I, I really don't like that casting. But the Xterra, I love. And I was at, able to find this one at a secondhand shop. Uh, the guy buys and resells cars. It is what it is. You know, I definitely did not pay the market value for it. Or not market value. Um, store value for it. I think it was like $3, maybe $4. But, hey, I needed it. And it's better than paying shipping on eBay. So, uh, this is actually... Here, let's open it up. Uh, yeah, I do like the packaging, but uh, it's getting ripped. I I'll save the other ones. So this is the second version of this casting, actually. You might be like, what, really? Well, because this one does not have the opening trunk, the first version like this was in red in 2017, I think. God, it's that long ago? Maybe 2018, the red one came out. And then it kind of, it was like a one-and-done model until now. Now we have this one. Of course, they continue to use the one with the opening trunk in... The moving parts, it's like a yearly thing that shows up, maybe sometimes twice a year. But uh, this one they don't use very much. I hope to see more of it. Because uh, actually, they detail the plastic on here. You get the headlights and the Nissan badge, not much. I think they do the same on the opening parts version. Uh, oh yeah, and it's not the same base as the opening parts version either, because the, the uh, rivet is in a different location. I think so. Well, because it's not there because the trunk opens. You, you get very simplistic details on this one. I mean, they probably could have added at least the tail lights. Like, the, I, I don't know. I don't know. Or the, like, side details, you know. But we got Xterra. We got the wiper. We got the Nissan badge. And that's it. You got front and somewhat rear. Uh, I also like how this thing sits lower in the back because that's how they all are in real life. <laughs> the, the suspension always blows out in the back. It's always those older Pathfinders and Xterras that have terrible suspension in the back. Um, so there's the Xterra, and then the other three I have are from the Japanese Origin set. This did not go as planned, because I wanted to get the entire set, all 12 cars, on card, and then I was going to get the new releases separately to open. Well, A, this set really sucked, because there was only four new releases out of the 12 cars, and B, I couldn't find them. Even though they were all old, I couldn't find them. So uh, I decided, what the I found three of the 12. Um, well, no, I found three of the eight re-releases. And then of the four new models, or new decos, I should say. I found this one at the same shop this one was at. I still don't have the WRX, so if anybody can help with that. And then Diecast Kaguru found me the, the hard body and the Z in the new, in the second wave of the set, which was better casting selection and release selection, but still yeah, lackluster. And this is actually a new casting. And uh, Diecast Kaguru talk, told me about that because I didn't realize it at first, but once you see it, you really can't unsee it. So let's... Uh, Pull this one. Oh, actually, oh, I'm saving the card on this one because I like it too much. I, even though I have three, I think I have the Honda, the Mazda, or well, actually, no, I have the Type R, the Mazda, and the CVCC on card. But uh, I still want to save these cards because this, the artwork is better than the models. I think I've said that before, but 
Look at this. But the new releases are really nice. Uh, I kind of just ruined the card. It's hard to, to cut the main lines open. Because the just the plastic's like flimsy. Okay, well I have most of it. I've I'll probably finish that off later. And we'll talk about this retool, which doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why they would retool it. They also they just released it and what where is it? I brought it up here too. This version they just released. Like 2020. And then they go and retool it for 2022. Can you see the different? Oh yeah, it, it stands out like a sore thumb. Okay, let, let's look at the let's look at the deco here. First of all, the bronze, I, I love it. It's very 80s. I love it. And those decos too. This of course is JCC, Japanese or is it? Uh, how's it go? JNC, Japanese nostalgic car. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and you get your very 80s decos. Only side passes on this one, but that's really all it needs. You get... Oh, no, you do get the front details. Never mind. Um, eh, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so... Uh, oh, yeah, that, look at that. That's why they retooled it. Because of that pillar. And I can't believe they got away with this in 2020. Having the pillar like that. Interesting. So, yeah, this is the old version. I don't know why in the right mind. Normally they add more plastic to the car. Why would they fill this in? <laughs> that, I need to know. This was fine how it is. And then they go and do this. And the deco on here doesn't work. So these, you can obviously see the grill grooves are not as defined as they were. And it doesn't also help that this has very thick paint on it. And the deco on top of it. Yeah, it's, it's not a good look at all. And then, of course, the rear bumper, too, got split. It's all one piece now rather than that split. Uh, so the casting is very different. You, you have more definition up here rather than being smooth. Okay, that's one change I do like. Because, yeah, you do have the window trim around the window. You do have your reverse light. And then you got these two little knobs next to it, which might be, like, where the washer fluid comes out of. But here, this is all flat. Like, you got a little lip there, but I think it's just the casting. Uh, oh, that's a wiper. Okay, so this one has a wiper. It looks like there's a wiper on top here. It's, like, so... Yeah, like you can tell it's supposed to be a wiper. You can see where it starts and ends. So they got rid of the wiper and added a third brake light, it looks like. Or is that still... Spo I don't know what that is. Weird. So weird. Uh, and we'll check the base on the, yeah, see, it's 2021, definitely a new casting. I don't want to say new model, because that's a shame. That's a shame. And I think there's going to be a 2023 version, and I think it's going to have the same defamation. It is what it is. It doesn't, it doesn't look bad from afar. All right, next, what do we go with next? Uh, I really like the Nissan Junior, so we'll go with the Z, although I do love the Z. Which the Z shares the same deco as the WRX, which I'm surprised that both of them are new, figuring that they have used this deco before on the newer WRX, not the older one. So I'm surprised they didn't re-release the older one in this pack, but that, that's not really Japanese because the WRX is sold like all around the world. Or at least the newer gen, more so than the older one. Which a little more limited to where it was sold. I think the Z works well on it too. And of course, this is also a really bad retool, but we've already talked about that. This one is... Shines with the deco. Also, I don't... Does that have, like, yellow tinted windows, kind of? Or, oh, no, the interior is probably, like, a bronze. Like, the wheels, that's why. Uh, so you, you get... 
I like the paint. Like it's thick black paint. I, I suppose the, the thicker paint works when you're not detailing the uh, trim. Oh, you, you can't really see the tail lights, but <laughs> you can't see where they're supposed to be. You just gotta like take the word for it. Oh, they're right there. But of course, this is supposed to be a Japanese police livery. Um, I don't understand why they didn't just do the two tone like that and rather we have like a technically three tone to going on here all those two colors but there's three breaks in the color it looks funny but you know what they're doing i like the z badge right there it's very clear gold five spokes work awesome on this we have the japanese or matchbox in japanese on the side here which is also on the the forerunner and let's see if it's on the uh, it's not on the hard body or the junior. Never mind. You get your uh, Japanese star, which would normally be on the hood, but uh, of course they're not doing hood decos. Police, and the the other side is the ex exact same. I like it. I like it a lot. Now I just had the epiphany that the Japanese moving parts series got more new models than this set, and there's less cars in that set. No, never mind. There's eight. There's twelve cars in that set too. So how come they could do that one perfectly 50 50 percent new models, fifty percent old releases, but this one they had to butcher it and do four new releases. What's that like a twenty five to seventy five ratio? I don't know. Well, let's get the hard body. I love the hard body, and I'm so glad they did another plain livery because we only had two of them. We had the blue one and the green one, and then we had some a ton of various liveries that followed it some were better than others but finally we get another plain version and i love it this is my favorite of the entire set well i actually it's hard for me to say that because i do not have the wrx but uh, i don't see how this would beat the wrx I'm um, struggling. I think my knife is dull. That might be another problem. I got it. Oh, you know what? <laughs> this stupid thing was in there. All right. Oh, battery's low. Um, right then. Um, clean that off. Look at that. So it's not metal. I originally thought it was like a metal flake orange. It's not. But I think that works. It's more period correct for this model because there wasn't readily available metal flake back in the 70s. Right? It's a 70s trial. Oh, 62. Yeah. So I, I don't think metal flake was a thing. Really. Oh, and we got what? Um, well, it's trying to have some metal flake on the side there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, not to joke about this thing being orange, but there's orange peel on here. Wow. That's just that sound. Right. You know what? It's around the gas tank. Hmm. That's funny, actually. Because that's that's normally where cars start to rust from, the gas tank. That's what it looks like. It's rusting. That's weird. Matchbox, come on. You, you, got, <laughs> you really got to do better. All right, your front end details. Headlights look good. Oh, it's nice to see this thing without tinted green windows like the Sriracha one. The smaller disc wheels work really good. Nissan on the plate. And you got some badging with no words on it. Tail lights look good. At least you can see them on the orange. I really like that. And what happened to this thing? So now typically you get something like this if the paint was sprayed too close to the body or it was like it was contaminated somehow it doesn't look like there's a uh, a visible contamination but you know it could have like cold air could have gotten on there and it didn't lay over right because you do want it to be a little warmer when you paint so anything when you paint anything metal you want it to be warmer because the cold will mess it up 
almost like this. So that, that's my guess of what happened. It's barely visible until you like shine the light on it. But uh, and you got your trailer hitch on the back. Very good, very good. R37, so is that the 2022 code? 37th week of 2022, which would make sense because this came out towards the end. There you have it. Matchbox, I guess, like, themed assortment models. I mean, I don't think they directly call it that, but that's what Hot Wheels calls them. So, uh, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. We got some Hot Wheels stuff coming up next. Goodbye.